Good morning, happy day 22 of Vlogmas. We only have a few more days left and I'm so sad about that. But we woke up to a little dusting of snow. School had been canceled for the last two days before winter break for my kids and, or I guess one kid now. So we hunkered down and just prepared for this oncoming blizzard we were supposed to get. I ended up with a really bad toothache later in the afternoon and so this vlog is a little light on content but I'm going to try to add in maybe some bits of cranking another sock tube or something just because I didn't do much filming because I was in pain. Feeling much better now though. I managed to put one heel in an afterthought heel on one of the socks from the sock tube I was working on. And so here is what that finished sock will look like. I just have the other heel that I need to put in and I'm working on that right now. And for Advents today, we are on day 22, just a couple more. And Sweet Sparrow yarn is wood smoke on our house wren base. And Through the Wardrobe Yarn Co's Mean Girl Advent is a very pretty purpley pink. We're getting very deep and dark in these pinks, so I'm very excited to see that. Lofty Loops is a really soft silvery blue with hints of that sort of sagey green underneath. So it's still in the green family, but very much a cooler color. Skein in the Stitch is a really pretty silvery gray. And then the Enchanted Forest Advent from the Fiber Fox is the Beast. And today from the Camel's Yarn is Coming Home Trees. And I love this color with the pinks and the blues and the greens. She picked up the color of the sky and those clouds so perfectly. And then this might be my favorite Funko Pop so far. It's Jan with her little candles and her glass of wine and all of her attitude. Look at that little bun. I friggin' love her. <laughs> she is so cute. And so here is the lineup for day 22. I think I've decided on a couple projects that I want to work on with my other advents. So I will talk about those maybe tomorrow. I want to do another deep dive through all of my advent projects so far and my plans for them. So stay tuned for that tomorrow. Here I'm just showing very awkwardly this cone attachment for the drill because I am going to crank another sock tube, but I'm going to do it correctly and crank it off of the cone instead of winding a cake just because it creates tension issues and it doesn't always pull from the cake nice and you know. So they highly suggest winding all of your yarn onto a cone. And to do that, they've actually included, or they have in their shop, you can get this little attachment for your drill or you can make one of your own, whatever works. But you just stick it in your drill like if you would a drill bit and then it spins that cone for you. And so you just have to use your hand to kind of guide the yarn onto the cone and make sure that you're doing it fairly evenly. Um, so yeah, I always think this part is really fun and it always looks really interesting when it's all said and done. But now this can pull off of that cone really easily. And I could tell with this tube that my tension was so much nicer and I wasn't having to fiddle with the yarn being fed into the sock machine. So cone is definitely the way to go. Don't be lazy and do it from a cake like me. This is so much nicer and smoother. I think this whole process from start to finish took me under 20 minutes, maybe even under 30 minutes, including winding the cake onto the cone. It is so stinking quick. Like I love how quick this is, how fast you can just crank this out over my lunch break. And then in the evening, all I have to do is put on the heels, toes, and cuffs. So I really highly recommend a circular sock machine and Dean and Bean make theirs really affordable um, for a fraction of the price as some of the metal ones, the, the high-end ones. This is all 3D printed and so if a piece breaks you can easily get a new piece to replace it. You can pick your color. I just really highly recommend checking out their website. It's deanandbean.com. This is not an ad by the way. I'm not getting paid to say this. <laughs> okay so I have cranked 100 rounds so far. 
And this is what it looks like. I feel like this gauge is a little loose, but I've already gone so far that I'm not going to try to adjust it again. Um, but here you can see what that is knitting up like. And that is my weight sitting in there. And so you'll see me adjust the weight and move it up a little bit. And I'm wondering, I'm using my medium weight. I'm wondering, typically I use my like large weight. Um, I wonder if that's why my gauge is different, but I don't know, we'll see how this works out. Just a few minutes later and I'm already at 200 rounds. So getting there, I think in total I ended up with 273 which is really nice that they have a counter on there as well so you can keep track. So maybe you wanna stop at a certain point or whatever, but now I know exactly where the middle is because I can just divide that number in half. And here is the finished tube with the mini that will be heels, toes, and cuffs. And I'm so excited and happy that this is such a quick project, but now I'm off to work for the last day until the new year and then I'm going to spend my evening sitting and knitting. So I will see y'all tomorrow for day 23. Thanks for watching, bye.